Have you been suggested this exercise for your hip or groin pain and you feel like it's not working for you? Because it hurts when you're really doing it. Does it hurt here, here, or here? We're gonna cover a really nice variation to this exercise where you can still get the glute to stretch and actually get the glute to work without actually having the groin pain in the process. So this is Don and I'm Sebastian. We are part of the locally world famous chiropractors in Coast Mesa, California. Yes, chiropractors can sometimes show exercises. Yeah. We're gonna coach exercises <laughs> because we find it works really well for hip and groins. So we're gonna do it here, here today. Let's show a, an exercise that actually will work cool. instead of that one. Sure, so it, we're gonna take Sebastian through this exercise. If you guys wanna do it with us or test it later, it's completely up to you. But as we always say in all of our videos, we want you to test what is provoking for you in the first place. What are we trying to make feel better? Do something that maybe provokes it a little bit so you can test it afterwards. But we're gonna find that same hip motion in this exercise, but it should feel a lot better, maybe even more intense in the correct areas. So what Sebastian's doing is he's starting here in this position, okay? This is about 90 degrees, maybe a little bit higher. You can always play with the height of the knee and what's the most comfortable for the groin. And this is the side that they were stretching. They were going like this. Exactly. Okay. Yep, so we're just not on our back anymore. What he's gonna do is he's gonna take his hand, gonna reach forward and above him a little bit. He's gonna go nice and slow until he feels the front part of his knee or the side of his knee here is pushing into the ground. And then he's gonna rock back out of it. We'll take this in little steps here. We're just gonna rock forward, find that pressure in the knee, and then rock out of it. Take as many times as you need to in this one, but I'm gonna pause him on this third one here. And what we're gonna do is where you feel this pressure with your knee, I want you to try to squish my finger as hard as you can. So hard this foot starts to pop up, which for him it's already uh, doing, and then we're gonna rock out of it. It's like there's toothpaste, toothpaste that can come out of your <laughs> exactly. finger, Exactly. Huh? So go again, he's reaching. For you, if you don't have anybody at home to press into the finger, we can take something like a piece of mail. Just put it underneath the knee there, and that just gives you a little bit of external cueing of just where are we pressing here. So he's rocking in and out of it, and this is all we're gonna do. Sebastian, where do you feel this? Uh, I feel this in right into the, like right into there, like my butt cheek. Kind of like outer glute is what we're doing here. It feels more like an intense stretch but activation at the same time should not be painful, should just feel like a pretty intense stretch and nothing in the groin. Now, if it if it, if it it feels like it's in the groin, maybe an easy thing to do is, is to slide the knee down a little bit. Mm -hmm. You can even slide it all the way down to the point to where it almost becomes like, like a side plank, but from the knees. And so these are there's always variations of exercise we can give. If you're worried about actually what that groin pain is, we do have a webinar. It's up in the upper left corner, which is gonna pop up. It covers a lot of hip diagnosis, as well as what we can do about them. Uh, and it clarifies a lot of the information that you guys have probably been told through Dr. Google and various things that you probably learned. It cleans it all up. It's 20 minutes long. I guarantee you will love it. So take advantage of it. Absolutely. So Don, with this Don's exercise. on it too, by the way. Uh, what's that? You're on it too. Ah, uh, we're both on it. There's a lot of laughing. <laughs> How often and how long should you do this, guys? We don't usually give sets and reps, to be honest. We ultimately um, want you to go to a challenging amount. I usually give people the idea of, I want you to go until it feels really fatiguing on you and then just do maybe one or two more afterwards. So let that, or that booty cheek of the side that we're focusing on get a little bit of like a bicep pump feeling in it and then we're gonna get out, we'll be done with it and we can retest what was painful and provoking beforehand and see if it's helping you. Great. Let's just say I squatted and that helped me. I feel really good. The yep. front of my hip feels pretty good. Yep. So we find that exercise helps a lot of people, especially when the hip stretching across the body exercise does actually hurt. If this is bothering you and you find that, huh, maybe that's not really working for me, you might need to clean up some of your rehab exercises that you're already doing. If you're willing to work with us on this, let us just suggest different things. Let's progress your exercises and make it so your body uh, heals itself. So yeah, you guys can work with us virtually or in person. Uh, we have tons of ways that you guys can reach out to us, but email is always the best. If you didn't take advantage of that webinar in this video today, it is on our website. And then just go to our YouTube page. We have tons of other hip and groin things on there. If you haven't already been there and visited it, please take advantage.